In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a liquify brush in Corel Painter that mimics the liquify filter in Photoshop. Um, I personally like it even better than the liquify filter in Photoshop because it's um, much more delicate and precise and easy to control. And since it's a brush, you're not leaving Photoshop for the filter window and then going back and forth to tweak your work. You're just working right there in the document. Um, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, go to your brushes, find the simple category, choose flat color two. Flat color two is just that, flat color. Um, then you're gonna wanna go up to brushes, copy the variant because we don't want to um, corrupt the original brush, we wanna make a new brush. So it's gonna ask you to copy your variant two a particular category. I usually choose FX for something like this because I know that I'll look for it there later. So choose FX, hit OK. Then go to the FX category and your brushes and find your new brush from right here, Black Color 2. Let's go ahead and rename it so we don't forget. All right, liquify. Okay, now we just have to tweak this brush so that it's exactly what we want it to be. So we're gonna go to Window, Brush Control Panels, General. And we're gonna go to the General tab here and see Method. For Method, choose Plugin. And then for the subcategory, scroll down this long list and choose Liquid Brush. All right, so now we're, we've got a good start. Liquid Brush. So when we first start using it, it's kind of funky, so we have to tweak it. So one thing we want to do immediately is turn that hardness down to zero because we just don't need that. We want a liquify brush, not a weird stampy brush. We want it to push the paint around, whichever way we tell it. Okay, but it's still a little harsh, isn't it? So one thing we want to do is go over here and turn the opacity down to zero. Don't need it anyway, we're just pushing it around. We don't want any funny smudging or anything like that to happen. Now, it's still a little crazy out of control. Now, if what we're going for is some kind of cool texture, that's fine. This hardness that it sort of still retains is, is perfectly applicable to certain techniques and looks that we want. But if you want something a little more subtle, you can go ahead and turn the grain down. So we're turning the grain down. Let's go to like 10% so you can see what I'm doing now. And now you'll notice that doing that, I'm pushing quite hard and I'm pulling out fast and strong. And yet it's a much more subtle effect on the image. And what that is good for is subtly tweaking an image say that you're already working on. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So let's go over here and say we're working on this particular painting and we realize too late that the hole around her eye in this mask is maybe not big enough. Maybe we want it to be bigger. Okay, so we can now take liquify brush and just use it to gently manipulate the painting, almost like you're sculpting. Now there are a few things that'll happen with this brush that frankly happen in Photoshop too. Sometimes when you're pushing and pulling pixels around like this, things get a little fuzzy. That's okay, just go back in, sharpen it up by painting over it. I can even get much more detailed. Oops. Say I want her iris bigger. Well, I can just go in there and push it around. Okay, I'm gonna back out so you can see the difference. So, and you'll see how we widened the hole in the mask around her eye. 
Oh, we made the iris of her eye bigger too. So there you go. A easily controlled, easy to make um, liquify brush in Corel Painter.